Beyonce once said, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. I only have to follow my heart and concentrate on what, the wor what I want to say to the world. I run my world. When saying this, she proved it, proves that she doesn't need anybody's approval and she is fine with herself. In many people's eyes, that is proof enough that she is one of the best people in the world. And if you don't agree, I am here to I'm here to persuade you that Beyonce is one of the best pop singer, songwriters, mother, and friend. Just for example, according to Grammy.com, she has been nominated for a total of nine of sixty-six Grammys and has won twenty-two. And let's take the king of pop, for example, Michael Jackson, he has only won a total of 13, and yet he's the king of pop. Further proving, one, that Beyonce is one of the best singer-songwriters of all time. Today we are going to go through her music, the achievements of Beyonce, then we'll explore her life and her family, then we will finally go through the meaning of two of her songs. Now into our first subject, Beyonce's music. According to HookedOnEverything.com, throughout the years, Beyonce has received many Billboard recognizations. In 2009, being placed in the category of Top, top Radio Song Artist of the Decade and Top Female Artist of 2000s. Just two years later, in 2011, Beyonce was rightfully named uh, Billboard's Artist of the Millennium. Beyonce performed at Super Bowl 47 and then three years later at Super Bowl 2016, Super Bowl 50. Her music has taken her places that nobody would have dreamed could, that it could go. According to Grammy.com, as I stated earlier, she has won a total of 22 Grammys. In, in many different categories, ranging from Best Female Vocalist in R&B to Song of the Year. Beyonce is the first woman in history to hit number one with her first five studio albums. It follows the chart topping Dangerously in Love in 2003, B-Day 2006, I Am Sasha Fierce in 2008, Four in 2011, and Lemonade in 2016. All five of her albums debuted at number one. Next, we are going to explore her life. She was born in Houston, June 24, 1986. She joined Destiny's Child when somebody backed out, and she finally convinced her parents to let her go, although they were opposed to it. And Destiny's Child uh, had problems concerning money and decision-making, which in the end finally drove them apart. Beyonce, Beyonce starred in several, in several movies from 2002 to 2013 in her big role epic as Queen Tara. On April 4th, 2008, she got married to Jay-Z, her loving husband. In 2012, she gave birth to her beautiful daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, and at this very moment, she had, is pregnant with twins. Next, we are going to take a closer look into two of her songs to show that her music is for everyone and how it has touched many hearts and souls. The first song that we're going to go deeper in is Formation. Formation was the first single that Beyonce released from her Lemonade album. It was also the Black Power anthem that had the world talking. The song was released the day after what would have been Trayvon Martin's 21st birthday and a day before what would have been Sandra Bullock's 29th birthday. Her first line, y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess, is a reference to her, is a way that she expressed her frustration with the people comparing her and Jay-Z's relationship to the Illuminati. People have been crediting the couple's success to the Illuminati instead of praising their actual hard work and reason they both, that they both have gained so much to credibility. Beyonce also drops a line in the chorus, I see it, I want it, I stun it, yellow bone it. The term yellow bone, according to dictionary.com, is a reference to being black but with light skin. 
Beyonce has been accused of lightening her skin in the past, something she strongly denies. Formation is her opportunity to set the record straight about her roots. She is considered yellow bone as opposed to red boned, but is a proud black woman. Now into our next example, Beyonce's sandcastle is a reference to is reference that describes the current state of her relationship. It appears as if it's uh, built strong, but then everything can be easily washed away. In her opening line, we can build sandcastles washed away. I made you cry when I walked away. Although her line, dishes smashed on the counter from our last encounter, pictures snatched out the frame, sounds like a violent encounter, Beyonce is actually remembering a sexual, sexual heated, a heated sexual moment. Beyonce often describes making love to her husband graphically in a lot of her songs. Her last line in the song, every, every promise don't work out that way, is her broken promise to herself. She always vowed that she would leave Jay-Z if he ever cheated. The moment has come and she just can't walk away. Today we have gone over Beyonce's quote, and then we went into her career, and then we went over her personal life achievements, and after all that, we went through several of her songs and broke them down to the real meaning. Now that you know the, that Beyonce is the best, I want you all to go out and listen to any of her albums. Hey Gabe, how many albums?